Darian Murphy. Do you want to read this one, Rachel? I think it's directed to you. Yeah. No, like out loud. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, first girl, serious advice. You need to stop making decisions and choices. Find a man in your family who is sensible and who really cares about you. And just take their advice seriously. Also, abandon feminism. It's truly poison. Okay, you guys are all just, like, really misogynistic. Um, I don't necessarily need a man to tell me. I also have females who can support me. I feel like women and men can both provide that. Wait, so what's, I don't what know. is misogynistic about his statement here? Well, I don't know why it has to be a man. Why, why, why does it have to be a man? I think well, the problem why is, is that mis well, I would I'm not sure why that's my, misogynistic say, but no not that I mean like what's mind. the de what's the def what do you how do you define misogyny there's a lot of answers up there Brian yeah mm -hmm. no how do you define misogyny I don't know I don't like this what How do you, I'm just asking how you define misogyny. Can I go? Um, are you okay? Like, do you want, you, like, you want to go as in leave? Is it because I asked how you define misogyny? Is that the... <laughs> No. I was just, I wanted to make sure that we were, like, talking about, because in, in a debate, I, it's very important that you, both people are talking about the same thing, and both people have things defined. Well, I'm not going to answer how I'm using this in the context, because I have signed a waiver. Wait, what? Never mind. I don't. Do you want to just take a little breather? Or you could just stay at the table, I mean... No, I'd, I'd like to go home, if that's allowed. Because I asked about how you define misogyny. That was... That was the precipitating thing. I've said some way more... I don't know, he's asking me to abandon feminism. It's like, do you even know what feminism is? It's like, hey, I... I was never the one that's been like sitting here wanting a man to be a man. Wait just, what? Well, let's talk. Let's like try to, to talk. Home. Well, let's try to talk it through. Let's try to get to the bottom of this, because because <laughs> it seems like uh, it's a position you're really strong on, and we'd like to hear your your stance. Nick. So let me try to maybe parse what he was saying. So Darian Murphy, he was saying, abandon feminism. You object to that, which is fine. Um, you also objected to him saying, find a man. You can certainly find like a strong woman in your family to um, guide you too. The reality is, is like, it doesn't matter about other people. Like the only person that can face you is yourself. Um, yeah. But you can always go to like a parental figure. Also, you're already talking about like pornography and like no man is going to marry. A, like, yes, there are men that will marry women that do por pornography. But you were also talking about how there's a lot of men that are judgmental of that. And like things you, being potentially sure. online forever. Yeah. It's like th this is like literally no different for me. Like for me, it's like anyone can look this up. I thought this was going to be like some little student podcasts that like maybe five people listen to I have no idea <laughs> but okay so are you just on the adult content thing are you do you object to men having a preference for not dating women who have been engaged in that kind of adult content no I think it's really ridiculous that guys are also i've had a lot of guys sit there and complain about how they're jealous that women can actually go into that profession because 
a lot of males do not feel like they have a platform in that business um and i do think it's an industry i do think it's a business i respect it it's good it's dandy i just if you yeah no look if you want to leave you can leave i was hoping we could continue having a conversation but um Just let it go okay i mean i mean if you're leaving we can't really offer that but okay <sighs> What? Did it? Bro, I don't know. The chat's like, what? I'm trying to like have a conversation about it. Okay, whatever. Um, I think that was the first time yeah. in her life she was faced with like the truth of, and the consequences of her actions. And I think, yeah, I think she was just like gathering like everything she yeah. said on here and it just hit her kind of, I could, mm. I could see that in a bit. Bro, I mean, like, everyone in the chat's like, bro, let her, let her go. Like, I'm trying to reel her back into the conversation. She had a, she was upset. I don't know if it was that super chat that got her or me asking her to define what misogyny is. But like, but if she was just that was really a pretty tame conversation. Um how is bro okay i was trying to like she was having a reaction i was trying her to like calm her down by talking to her the chat wants to white knight then fine whatever um so okay whatever bro um bro, like it is what it is um i'm gonna read a couple chats let's see uh kate robinson thank you for your honesty you have made me laugh a lot or rachel question mark what's your cat's name uh she left sorry kate um let me see if we have any other chats but i mean was that crocodile tears i don't know I think it was the first time What's in her funny life. is, what's actually funny is, if I can just like be meta and address it, is she started crying and then you started reassuring her even though you disagree with her. Mm -hmm. You weren't prepared to step up and actually be like, because once the tears come out, mm -hmm. yeah. you're gonna placate her. But that does nothing to actually address, and the, uh, Chad is roasting me here, but like, I don't think it was anything It's white like knighting. Specific. It's fucking white knighting. What, Guys what fall for that? that a lot in arguments. Like, girls crying, but they shouldn't fall for it because it kind of gives in to the girl and, like, then they end up, you know, doing habits like that, just crying to get out of well, arguments. Well, the way I see it, though, is, like, this is the first time in her life where she's like, oh, shit, these actions I've done in my past, like, are going to have consequences because I don't think she's ever thought about, like, there are consequences of what I've done in all these stories yeah. and... It's gonna like, it's shaping her as like who she is as a human. And now she has to like she just deal with it. And I don't think she ever like she has said. processed hey, like, what she's gone through. And for yeah. the first time she's like, wow, I've gone through a lot of stuff and I need to process this. And mm -hmm. it was, I think that's what made her emotional. Honestly, yeah, the chat, like the chat was spamming. And maybe this is why I ultimately would, like I should not, I should have probably tried to keep her here and allow her to talk through what she was feeling but the chat was like brian let her go you're exploiting her blah 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 it's like yo let's talk through what she is going through like honestly if any of you said like we're again uh, just unsubscribe like if those of you who are like i literally asked her how she defined misogyny and that made her cry i'm sorry like there's way heavier fucking shit going on in the world than asking somebody in sitting at a table how you define misogyny. I get that there was other conversations going on during the table, 
But like, holy shit, chat. Like, if you think that I was like being a dickhead, fucking unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. I don't want you as a viewer. Unsubscribe. Like, I'm not going to be fucking guilt tripped here because I was literally asking her how she defined a word she fucking used. I was trying to understand her position. And then she's going to start. Okay, whatever, bro. Um, 